Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Wednesday, the 18th of July. I'm James Spann. Kind of a tricky forecast in coming days with drier air trying to creep into extreme north Alabama and a northwest flow aloft developing. So a lot of things to talk about. Let's take a look. This is the upper air look early this morning. And one thing you notice there, we have a trough that's forming over the eastern United States. And that is helping to push a surface boundary down this way. Question is, can any of the drier air reach us? This is the precipitable water early this morning. Notice the tight gradient across the Tennessee Valley. And you can see uh, th th that's drier air over Tennessee making an effort to work down through here. In some locations, could see lower dew points up in North Alabama today, but for much of the state, not much change. Temperature is pretty refreshing this morning up north. I'm seeing some 40s and 50s around upper Michigan. That feels pretty good. Now, that's not going to reach us. We'll see highs around 90, maybe low 90s for the next few days. Really hot weather west of the state. We have an excessive heat watch in effect for the Dallas-Fort Worth area where they're going to be seeing triple digits for a while. That old nasty mid to late July heat setting up out there. Severe storms mainly across the nation's heartland today. We have an enhanced risk over parts of Nebraska. This is tomorrow, and this is day three, which is Friday. We note the marginal risk clips extreme north Alabama, the main chance of severe storms north of the state. But there might be some risk of severe storms here Saturday, as you'll see in just a little bit. Check the rain for the next seven days. The east is relatively wet. The west is relatively dry. Rain amounts in Alabama, a little lighter on the western side of the state. The eastern counties of the state could see over one inch between now and Wednesday morning of next week. And the tropics are... Amazingly quiet, no tropical trouble anytime soon. So model fans, let's take a look. This is the GFS, the 06C run, valid this afternoon at 1 o'clock, troughing over the east. A surface boundary stalling out somewhere, I'd say around Birmingham. And the question is, where will the storms be today? And can parts of North Alabama go totally dry? Well, this is the precipitable water at uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon. The deeper moisture over the southern half of the state, but it's really not as dry as billed earlier this week. So uh, we'll mention isolated showers for the north, scattered showers and storms for the south, with a high today in the low 90s. This is tomorrow. And again, a pretty tight moisture gradient across the state. Let's look at the precipitable water. Again, this is 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Uh, the deeper moisture continues over South Alabama. So again, for the north, isolated showers. For the south, scattered showers and storms. Partly sunny with low 90s. Let's go to Friday. Moisture tries to increase statewide, so we'll mention a chance of scattered showers and storms. But another disturbance comes down that northwest flow aloft. This is Saturday, and this is going to be a fairly interesting day. And trying to figure it out this far in advance will be fairly hard to do. Uh, let's look at the upper look on Saturday. And again, we've got a pretty deep trough with an impulse coming down the back side of that thing, and the uh, severe weather indices actually look pretty impressive here. Uh, this is the Energy Helicity Index, Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, and those numbers are extremely high. When you combine some dynamic support with the high instability values we always have every summer day, that's pretty interesting, and this is even more interesting. This is the significant tornado parameter. Uh, coming off the NAM Saturday morning at 10 o'clock, and those numbers are just sky high. I don't believe that's particularly valid, but having said that, it's going to be an interesting day with uh, unstable air and some dynamic support. So we might be looking at some risk of severe storms Saturday, and some of the guidance here is suggesting it might be Saturday morning. So these northwest float situations can be very tricky, but it's not going to rain all day Saturday. The sun should be out at times, and the high, I'd say, will be in the upper 80s. Let's go to Sunday, the deeper moisture moving off to the east. So Sunday could be relatively dry, but again, maybe isolated showers, probably not many. And temperatures could be only in the middle 80s. We'll go to Monday. Again, that looks fairly quiet. And then Tuesday, moisture increases 
statewide with at least a chance of scattered showers and storms with another front approaching from the north and west. And this is Wednesday. That's very odd looking for this time of the year. A big trough setting up over the east, the uh, central and eastern part of the country, the heat bubble back in the southwest. And again, with a surface front pushing in here, that should bring a few showers and storms about. Let's go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, the 27th, broad troughing over the central U.S. That looks quiet. And this is pretty amazing. Check out these numbers off the GFS Ensemble. Highs around 90 for the next few days. And after that, no 90s. And I'm not forecasting this, but uh, it's an idea with general troughing overhead. This is suggesting temperatures below average for the end of July in the 1st of August, with highs in the 80s and lows around 70. And if by chance that works, that sounds pretty good. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Summer's just around the corner and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models. So give us a call today to get a free, no hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.